Hi, this is Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and today we're going to take a look at Resident Evil Degeneration from Capcom. If you're a Resident Evil fan, you're absolutely going to love this version for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Uh, Capcom has done an incredible job porting this uh, to the iPhone and the iPod Touch. And this was sort of what I was hoping that Konami was going to do for Metal Gear Solid Touch, but it uh, didn't quite work out that way. Um, so what I would like to do is just sort of step you through uh, the first few little uh, levels of this title. Uh, like I said, if you're a Resident Evil fan, you're absolutely going to love this. We're going to do a new game here. Do an easy. I'm going to skip through this. The 3D engine on this game is pretty incredible uh, for a mobile game. It has that creepy feeling just like all the Resident Evil titles. I'm just going to skip through this. The controls are really nice. Love the cutscenes. The cutscenes are incredible. She's telling us her supplies throughout the airport here. I've picked up some ammo. I'm gonna bust through this window here. This is not a light version of the game. This is a full version. Um, and it's creepy as you know what. You press this button here to go into a fire aiming mode and you know, you know the whole thing, it's a zombie. Shoot them in the head and they're dead. Stab one now, I'm gonna shoot him. That's pretty cool. Sort of got my controls messed up there. Cause zombies sort of freak me out. So there's a full storyline here. Um, here's a zombie. We're just going to do a headshot here. I apologize that you can't see the level of detail in this game. Uh, the game itself is very, very dark and it's hard for our HD camera to pick up every detail. So pretty freaky. Uh, the, the music's creepy. The, the 3D engine is incredible. Um, still getting used to the controls here. But the controls seem, you know, 
easy to learn once you uh, have played this a few times. But it totally has that eerie, creepy feeling that all Resident Evil games have. You can upgrade your weapons later on in the game uh, by collecting cash. Um, we gotta go back over here and use the crank to open this door. You get a map view here, you can see where you are in the map. Um, all that fun stuff. But I love the cutscenes. This feels like a full game because it is a full game. Uh, Capcom has done a great job, and this game's not too expensive. You know, it's $6.99, which, you know, is pretty incredible. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and shoot this uh, fire extinguisher here first. I believe this door is locked. Yes, I gotta shoot the padlock off this door here. This game is dark, it's eerie, and it's just downright creepy. And you'll see here where we have to use the touch screen to maneuver. So this is not a kid's game, this is a pretty uh, creepy, it's basically Resident Evil, but it's for your iPod and iPhone, and Capcom has done a great job with this uh, title uh, for the iPhone and iPod Touch. It is $6.99 on the iTunes App Store, and it's Resident Evil Degeneration. I'm going to keep on playing this booger, uh, looks like a ton of fun. And uh, this has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and if you're a Resident Evil fan, I uh, highly recommend this game, and for $6.99, this is a full game, and I think you'll have a ton of fun with this. So this has been Mr. Pence from TapCritic.com, and I'll see you soon.